Hello, in my last video I showed how to type in manually a cutting list into OptiCut. In this video I'll show you how to import a cutting list from an Excel spreadsheet. Here is an Excel spreadsheet with our cutting list. First, I must isolate the information I need to export into OptiCut from the rest of the sheet. To do this, I'm going to select the cutting information and I'm going to click copy. I'm going to open up another worksheet and I'm just going to put it, paste it into this new worksheet. We can see here that we have the grain direction as indicated as N for no. I'm going to put change the N to zero. Now I'm going to save this particular worksheet as a CSV file. I'm going to go to File, Save As. In the type of file I'm going to be sure to select CSV with a colon as a separator. The name of the file I'm going to leave it as cut list. I'm just going to save this file and agree to lose the formatting from Excel in the CSV file. We now have on our hard disk the CSV file which is just the cutting list part of our worksheet here. I'm now going to open up a new cut list in OptiCut and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the OptiCut import option. So I'm going to go to this dialog box here and choose import options. I'm going to make sure that separator is a semicolon the units are in millimeters and I'm going to click on format button here and we're going to I'm going to make sure that we have the same sequence of fields that is marked up here in the fields to be imported so we have materials which is our first column quantity which is our second column our reference third column height width and grain direction here this is all okay I click OK now we're set up for importing. Go back to the import button and this time click on import. Click the file that we've actually created the CSV file. Click open and the cutting list now comes directly into comes directly into OptiCut. And we can go straight away and click optimize. and OptiCut has optimized our cutting list. Once OptiCut is set up for these Excel spreadsheets, you just have to be consistent in making your cutting lists with the same sequence of fields and ex you just have to export your spreadsheets directly into OptiCut like this. Thank you for looking and I hope to see you soon again in another video. Goodbye.